Hi, welcome back. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, today, I just wanted to do another quick uh, watch review for you. Um, just got this in yesterday, straight from Japan. This is the uh, Seiko model SA RX 013. It is, of course, from their Seiko's Japanese domestic model, so the JDM series. This is the Presage series of watch from Seiko. Uh, like I said, it was imported directly from Japan. Um, there's the tag that it came with. And the Presage, the model number, the price. Of course, it's all in Japanese for the most part. That's cool. Real happy with that. Um, let's take that out of the here. Nothing too fancy on the box, honestly. Just the cardboard feels a little cheesy. Nice little pillow here. Um, here's a good look at it. It is, of course, um, autom automatic. This features the 6R15 movement which is an automatic movement with winding and hacking. So you can set that second hand precisely. And you know, once again, of course with the automatics, yeah, the 6R15 is a real nice movement, but um, of course there's gonna be the error factor in there, plus or minus five seconds a day. I think it's what it's rated at. Like I said, I just got it yesterday. I really haven't uh, uh, checked it out exactly to where where I'm at with it. But um, yeah, that's that's a real that's a look at it. This thing is just beautiful. Um, you can see the nice finish on it. You have the satin satin flats on top, and you can see a little bit of the polish right here on the angle the polish on the rim of the bezel the bracelet um, mostly satin finish which is the polish on the ends of the links there gives it a real nice pop when you're wearing it and, and in good lighting it just you know as it's riding on your wrist it just reflects the, the polished areas just jump out and, and uh, gives it a little sparkle. It's really nice, so very happy with that. Um, like I said, I ordered this actually through Amazon. It was uh, $438. Took about a week to get. Um, thought it was gonna be longer. I actually wasn't ex expecting it till a little closer to the, the 14th. But uh, yeah, I got it in just a week, straight from Japan. I was really impressed with that. You know, they they, they shipped it right away. Um, even the Amazon was you know, updating me, saying, "Oh, you're gonna get it somewhere between the 9th and the 14th." And next thing you know, I'm getting a an email from DHL that oh, it's coming today. And there it was. Came home yesterday, and, and there she be. Um, this is just, I really doubt seriously that this video is going to do this thing justice as to how absolutely gorgeous this watch is. I mean, in person, I mean, the picture, the pictures on Amazon, the videos I, I watched, reviews, you know, they, they look pretty good, but I gotta tell you, once I got it. And then I wore it today. It, it was just, I just couldn't stop staring at it all day long. Um, just great, great piece. Great, great piece. I'm really happy to have this added, to, adding this to my collection. Yeah, once again, you know, not a watch expert. Um, bit of a Seiko fanboy. I do like them a lot. Um, Dimensions wise, you're looking at uh, this listed at 39.5 across the face there, 11.2 uh, 
uh, millimeters thick with a, a 20 millimeter band band uh, width. Uh, rated at 50 meters as far as um, water resistance. Um, I don't dive. I don't. I don't do that. I, I doubt seriously I'd ever take this thing uh, into a swimming pool or, or shower or anything like that. Um, it's just. It's just too nice for that kind of activity. If you had to, it's nice to know that if I did uh, fall into a pool wearing this watch, that I should it, it should survive, and that, that's that's a comforting feeling there. Overall, I'd say uh, my first impression is just you know just amazing. Uh, it's everything I everything I'd hoped for. Um, my my likes, uh, quick list of likes. I mean, just the overall finish, just. Um, the, the 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 attention to detail with the you know the, the polished edges right where they need to be you know and not completely polished so it just it just gives it that sparkle you know of course the the, the sign crown is is you know, a nice feature of of a quality watch um, the um, the the bracelet it's it's a it's a nice quality bracelet you know. Um, for Seiko. Uh, the bracelet is also part of uh, one of the things I have concerns on. One of my dislikes, I should say, about the watch. The feel is just great. Great, you know, great feel. Uh, wears wears really well. Um, I got a seven and a half inch wrist. I removed two links to get it to fit nicely on my wrist. And uh, yeah, it's just a great size for me. It's just not too big, not too small. Like I say, you know, 40-ish um, is usually about the smallest I like to go with watches. Um, things I would change about it. Uh, you know, for a nice watch like this, you know, it's it's a dress, dress watch. I went with a white face. It's available in black as well. Uh, I figured it just, it was a little more of a, it could be more casually as well. I think the black's just a little more dressy. But um, you see that on the end of the um, the hands there? You got a little bit of loom there. And there's also some loom right in the markers. If you can see those little rectangles right at the markers at the end there, between the marker and the bezel, um, that's illuminated as well. I just... A little disappointed. I mean, a watch like this, this loom just seems to cheapen it a bit. I don't know. I I, I would be a lot happier um, if, if it didn't. They they let the loom off of this. If you, if you go up to the next series of uh, uh, Seiko, uh, one one step up from this, probably their um, Brights series. Uh, I believe those are non loomed faces. And uh, I, I'd probably gonna end up getting one of those one of these days too. But um, yeah, that that's kind of a, a bummer. Uh, the bracelet, say the bracelet. It, you know, I love you know the build and the look. I like a lot. You know, it's it's real simple in its elegance, and that just plays to the whole thing. You know, it's squared off. Everything's squared off. And so are the lines. You know, this is you know some of the, a lot of the watches have the you know, the rounded edges, and this is squared off. This is more I don't know how to how to describe it, but you know this is this this, this the, the band fits perfectly with the whole design. It's, it, it all just ties together well. The one thing I didn't like about it though, I mean it's got a good clasp and all that um, machine clasp, of course. Uh, taking the links out. I did it myself. And I got the pusher tool to push the pins out, um, and then to my surprise, you know, um, these pins. This, this is a, this is, I've never seen this before. Like I said, I am not a watch expert. I'm fairly new to watch collecting, but the pin actually uh, there's a collar on on either side of the pin that rides in in the um, in this part of the class. You, you're not going to be able to ever see it on here. But there's like a, there's a collar on either end that and, and, it, and it's a, a split collar so the pin goes in and it expands it and that's what it holds it into 
the link. Well, I pull, I pull this, pop this thing out. I go to put it back in, and I don't realize that that collar was there, and the collar fell out, of course, and I didn't even notice it. And it is so tiny, and my eyes, my eyes aren't that good. It, it took me a minute or two to realize, hey, something's wrong here. This pin's going in way too loose now. And then I see that little collar laying there, like, oh my gosh, I got to get that little collar back in that little hole. So there I am with tweezers and. And magnifying glasses and you know wishing I had three hands uh, trying to get this thing back together and uh, I obviously eventually I got it. It, it you know once I figured out what was going on it wasn't a huge huge problem it was just wasn't expecting that you know I, I uh, should have found me a YouTube video on that because I, I you know I, I read some reviews and people saying yeah, I took it to a jeweler and another guy said oh yeah I did it myself no problem nowhere did anybody mention this pin and collar um, design and, and what to watch out for. So just beware if you're going to do it yourself, um, be prepared. You know, it's, it's a little tedious. So just uh, take your time. Be careful. You don't want to lose those little collars. Um, of course, you know, I say, I, you know, I kept the links and that I pulled out and I have the, the, the pins and collars all set aside. So I can, you know, if I ever want to put it back to the original size, if my wrist ever grows by an inch and a half, I'll be all set. But um, beware of that. Other than that, um, the loom and, and, and the, the trickiness of the bracelet, you know, I could have just went to a jeweler, but it was it was at night. I got home from work. I just got the watch. I was excited. I'm not going to wait um, for the next day to go to a jeweler before I can wear it. That's just not the way. I, I, I didn't have the patience for that. Um, other than that, absolutely a stunner of a watch um well worth the money uh, i think i paid uh i got it through amazon it was uh 4 38 plus shipping so we'll just call for 450 dollars um like um and like i said a week to get worth the wait it highly anticipated on my end and um glad i got it that's about like all I got on this one. I will actually got another watch the other day too. I'm going to review in the next day or so and I'll, and I'll post that up for you later on. Thanks again for tuning in and I'll talk to you later.